one. This is Hello Glass with another glass artist interview. What is your name and are you a glass artist? I'm Joe Peters and yeah, I'm a glass artist. How long have you been making glass and do you consider yourself a master? Um, I've been blowing glass since uh, 2004 and no, uh, I'm nowhere close to a master. Um, and yeah, the, it'll takes a lot of years and a lot of hard work and I'm just getting to the point where I feel comfortable making things I want to make. Your favorite style or type of glass to create with? Uh, my favorite style is sculpture. I think uh, the 3D forms in sculpture is just to uh, create things that, that give you a, a feeling or emotion and it's, it's the one I like in my glass. What state do you call home for your glass shop? Um, right now my shop's in southern Vermont. Do you own or work under a glass brand or an art name? Um, I, I, I have a, my business is called Joe Peters Glass. Do you have a website? Yeah, JoePetersGlass.com. Mm -hmm. Do you make your living solely off glass one? Yep, that's all, yep. What style or technique in glass is hardest for you? Um, um, line work I don't do it's typically you know you get a focus uh, you focus in a certain area or aspect of glass there's so many different styles so many different things you can bring to the table and it's hard to get good at all of them but, uh, my hardest is probably line work and uh, yeah surface design if you could collab or make art glass with anyone living who would that be um, I just did and it was with banjo Name two people that taught or influenced your glass skills. Uh, Robert Mickelson and um, Vittorio Constantini. Any style or technique of glass that you would or will learn in the future? Um, can you repeat that? Any technique or style of glass that you would or will learn in the future? Um, I want to get into uh, some carving, sandblasting, and uh, su more surface design. Name two glass artists that impress you. Oh wow, there's like a million. Um, two glass artists that impress me. Um, yeah, probably Buck and Banjo. What style or technique in glass amazed you when you first saw it? Uh, inside out. Worst injury you ever got making glass art? Uh, stitches. What do you wish to accomplish in the glass industry? Um, I just want to accomplish making some really good work. I should be ready for the train. <laughs> the uh, Joe Peters train. <laughs> I wonder where, where are we that has a train? <laughs> Perfect. What do you wish to accomplish in the glass industry? Um, I just wish to accomplish some badass artwork and to turn some heads with my glass and to uh, to carry this movement as far as it'll go and push the, and push the medium. How does a glass fan get a hold of you or get to buy your work? The best way to try to get my work right now is uh, Chester, Chesterfield Glass Art on Facebook. Um, but I have personal Facebook and Instagram. Check out my Instagram. What is it? What is it? Joe Peters Glass Instagram and Joe Peters on Facebook. Uh, you, I also have a website, JoePetersGlass.com. You've got three minutes to tell the world whatever you want. Go for it. Um, pretty much to... Um, it's hard work, hard work. It's a balance of, if you want, it's a balance of hard work and fun. And um, if you want something, you got to just turn your torch on and work 12 hours days. And that's all I've done is, is just work hard almost every single day. I have lots of fun at what I do, but it's taken me almost a decade to start to really have fun in this in this art form. Um, but uh, yeah, just, just keep working, just keep working. This was Hello Glass with another Real Glass Artist interview. Thank you so much for your time.